Hello everyone, my name is Jason Mears. I'm the Applications Engineering Manager for MarkForge. And today our webinar is going to be about assembly fixtures with MarkForge composites. Upon the completion of today's webinar, you will have a greater understanding of how to leverage MarkForge award-winning desktop and industrial series printers and composites to create assembly fixtures for your factory floor. Using additive manufacturing, you will be able to produce these fixtures quicker at a much lower cost than traditional materials and machining, and with a much higher capability around custom shapes and complex features, allowing you to not only bring efficiency to your tooling, but take on additional applications and uses you've never thought possible. For our webinar today, we will be going through a general overview of what an assembly fixture is, the goal of creating assembly fixtures in tooling and manufacturing, going from traditional methods of making tooling to using additive manufacturing capabilities, a brief overview of MarkForge composite printers and materials, suggested fiber reinforcement based on application, and finally, we'll be going through some customer examples. Starting off with an overview, I wanted to first establish what an assembly fixture is. An assembly fixture is any tooling or components that are created to aid in the combination of two or more base parts, by guiding the tool path or tool across the fixtured parts. Assembly fixtures can range from a simple V-block or chuck to highly automated production cells leveraging hydraulics, pneumatics, or electronically driven actuation. A common question that comes up is what is the difference between a fixture and jig? We have customers producing both using MarkForge printers, but to draw our differentiation between the two, a fixture is a tool that holds the part in a location or constraint, while a jig will actually move the part through or into fixed tooling. Jigs are often held in hand by operators or a simple constraint, while fixtures are often bolted to a machine, tabletop, or work surface and are fully constrained. The uses of assembly fixtures in manufacturing is nearly limitless, and they can be found in every facility that is combining subassemblies or parts. Some of these examples include in PCB fabrication, assembly fixtures in mass are created to ensure proper placement of components on baseboards. In aerospace or medical device, assembly fixtures are used to avoid damaging precise components and engaging fitment in an accurate fashion. And in high volume production, automated assembly processes leverage fixtures to quickly insert parts into assemblies without operator intervention. When creating assembly fixtures, there are always three main goals in mind, quality, repeatability, and efficiency. A good assembly fixture should enable an increase in one, if not all three of these categories. Looking specifically into quality, assembly fixtures are often leveraged to improve the yields of manufacturing lots. The yield in this case being how many parts that you started the process with and how many parts you finished with. Through tooled assemblies or fixtured and handled components, the chance of operator that would affect your assemblies is greatly reduced. With regards to poke yo and mistake proofing, Using tooling to put guardrails on your operations helps your operators and manufacturers to easily complete assembly steps without thinking about if they're completing the operation correctly or looking back at the work instruction. Finally, fallout from handling defects can be greatly reduced with assembly trays, protective masks, and covers during assembly, and other tooling that protects your base components from the rest of your shop. Next, repeatability is essential in creating a sustainable assembly process and maintaining margins on your product lines. Using fixturing, you're able to create an extremely accurate process. Using the example of a press fit, iterations of fixturing can ensure that you're meeting your spec and within tolerance by constraining your assembly to accept the press fit. Along with accuracy, fixturing enables consistent results and precision, meaning that with proper fixturing, you are ensuring your inspection's measurements are falling within the upper and lower control limits of your process without fail. Maintaining process control is often the primary driver for fixturing. Finally, many assembly processes involve tens or hundreds of components, yet require manual intervention or operator action. By using tooling to reduce the complexity of these operations, you can ensure that the operator will complete the operation the same way every time. Efficiency much like process control, is often a key driver of production of tooling and assembly fixtures. When it comes down to it, there are some assembly operations that just can't be completed by one person without the right tools. Many assembly fixtures reduce the need for multiple operators on an operation by holding the part while the technician completes the op. 
a bit outside of control and quality discussion, but workflow efficiency is also helped by assembly fixtures. Using simple or complex fixtures to handle work instructions and operations means that you're spending less time on showing your techs each nuance of moving parts along and more time producing your parts. With all of this, you can greatly increase your throughput by scaling up with assembly fixtures. Being able to complete 2x, 5x, or 10x the number of assemblies at once via tooling versus a manual operator step enables you to get the most out of your process and drive higher lot sizes without linearly scaling your lines. So how are these fixtures actually made? Putting together fixturing in a traditional manufacturing environment isn't a simple process. Going from an initial idea of a fixture to putting into production can often take weeks or months. In the first step, the fixture is designed and quoted to understand the time and cost it will take to produce the tool. Then, the tool is either outsourced or planned internally against existing production runs. After that, tools are produced to make the tooling, allowing it to be machined, milled, cast, or forged to the desired specification. Finally, the tool is produced in the facility, which depending on the application can take an entire tool room or machine shop and be extremely expensive. Overall, taking production resources, time, materials, and money away from customer parts means that in just creating the assembly fixture, you've already started to minimize your margins and push delivery times out for weeks or months. In attempting to keep up with yearly cost downs and rising production demands, our customers have come to us for a tool to mitigate this. Using additive manufacturing, most of the previous steps are removed. Since the part can be produced directly by our composite printers, there is no need for engaging the tool room or slowing down customer parts. Engineering, manufacturers, and designers can now produce tools and fixtures directly. In addition, no longer is the wait time months or weeks for fixtures or parts. Typical fixturing can be produced in two days or less, and the time and cost is known at the moment of print, which eliminates the level of effort around quoting. Also, composites as a material for fixturing are much more cost effective than tool grade steels or aluminum. As this is an additive process, minimal material is wasted, and the upfront cost for composites is negligible compared to the cost of blocks of 6061, 7075 aluminum, or tool steels. Finally, the iteration process is no longer constrained by a high cost or long lead time. Engineers can rapidly evolve their tooling to meet new part needs or accommodate changes to accuracy and precision simply by adjusting the CAD file and reprinting the fixture. Historically, this would mean cycling through the entire quote to production process again, but with additive manufacturing, another fixture can just be printed out. For this webinar, we will only briefly discuss MarkForge composite printers and materials, but for more information, videos, spec sheets, and guides, please visit markforge.com. Getting into our printer lineup, both the industrial and desktop series printers are used by our customers to produce production assembly fixtures and tools with main differentiators in build volume, resolution, and supported materials. Our entire composite printer lineup starts with our Onyx base material, which is a nylon six chop carbon blend, producing parts that are already 1.4 times stronger and stiffer than ABS without reinforcement. In addition to our base material, we offer four reinforcement fibers, carbon fiber, Kevlar, fiberglass, and high strength, high temp fiberglass, which are printed directly into the base material in real time using our patented continuous fiber reinforcement process. Our strong base material, coupled with extremely strong reinforcement, enables you to support applications that were previously limited to aluminum and tool steel. Each of our reinforcement fibers has specific properties that suit it best for applications, and I've laid out some examples here. Our strongest fiber, carbon fiber is often used by our customers where the highest strength and impact resistance is needed. As such, it makes it a great choice for high precision, high force assemblies, as well as CNC work holding applications. Kevlar offers ductility when needed and has seen usage in press fit assembly fixtures, as well as bolt and fastener driving applications. Fiberglass is a great low cost solution to add moderate strength to parts and is used in a wide variety of applications. Some examples of these are high counts of tooling that require strength beyond our standard onyx material, as well as large-scale new part introductions, where permanent fixture designs have yet to be created, but strength is needed in the initial iterations. We also offer a high-strength, 
high temp fiberglass that is an additional heat deflection capacity and strength. High temp fiberglass is great for creating SMT assembly fixtures, welding assembly fixtures, or any other situation where heat may be a factor. Getting into our customer examples, the first application is a stanchion adapter. This large-scale electrical equipment supplier inserts plastic clips into a series of hydraulic pipes via a press operation and uses internally built assembly fixtures to stabilize the hydraulic pipe. Before MarkForge, the customer was producing the assembly fixture with a multi-step process, including welding and machining polycarbonate. From start to finish, the process typically took three weeks and carried a significant tooling cost. With MarkForge composites and fiber reinforcement, the customer took their existing design and printed it as is. As a result, they were able to print adapters in just under 12 hours and saw a 76% cost reduction with MarkForge materials, without having to compensate or adjust production process to accommodate replacement tooling. Our second example is a gear housing fixture. This large metals manufacturer is using an internally developed fixture as part of their pressure test during chamber assembly. Before Mark Forged, the customer was producing multi-part assembly fixtures involving punches, mills, lathes, and finishing operations that took close to a month to complete alongside production material manufacturing. Using Mark Forge printers, the customer decided not only to replace the part with a composite printed fixture at a fraction of the charge, but was able to use the extended capabilities of additive manufacturing and design features that weren't previously possible. They did this through four iterations of design and testing to come up with an even more efficient design that used less material while still meeting the requirements of the assembly process. Our last example is a conformal custom parts tray for use in multiple new part introduction applications. For use in aerospace, precision engineer components, and medical devices, this tray serves as a customized carrier for all of the various subassemblies and fasteners. As surface finish is critical, a quality protective carrier is mandatory for maintaining high yields. Using traditional packaging methods, the cost for trays for each of the assemblies is extremely high. Machining custom trays is simply cost prohibitive, and outsourcing to thermoform or vacuum form vendors comes with a hefty minimum law charge and tooling charge for each product line, resulting in an exorbitant cost for each new part. Using Mark Forge's base onyx material, trays can be printed in-house even as the parts are being designed. Given there's no custom tooling to produce the trays, there's no additional charge for iterations or new parts outside of spent material. Outside of assembly fixtures, I wanted to provide a quick list of other feature applications that our customers have shared with us in the past. And we encourage you to go through our previously recorded webinars for additional information on these applications and more.